Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy, the largest hands-on RV training academy in America. Hey, this week there was a question that was asked a couple months back, because we answered real quick. <laughs> hey, I've got a DC to DC charger, and I'm putting it in between, of course, the uh, alternator and my uh, trailer, and I'm kind of concerned about the size of the wire, how thin it is. The DC to DC charger pulls about 30 amps, or can handle 30 amps. Do we need to be concerned about the size of the wire? What do you think? So for me in my setup, what I did is I put in an additional wire to go all the way back there because I didn't want to try and trust that wire, that small gauge wire on our truck that went all the way back through that seven way pin. So I wanted to take control of that and not depend on that. Right, right. And yeah, I mean, there is that concern about how small it is, right? But um, I will say that that DC to DC charger is only going to produce what it receives. Uh, but if you're going to spend the money in putting that in, yeah. why not run a, a little bit larger gauge wire? What gauge wire would you recommend? I have four gauge wire going back from the battery of the truck back to the 30 amp DC to DC charge control. So running that additional wire, we're not using the seven pin connector harness to connect through. So the mm -hmm. question is, is you know, what are you using to uh, always connect and disconnect because the DC to DC charger is located in the RV. Yeah, so I have an Anderson connector in the bed of the truck that I yeah. just connect up. Uh, when I connect up that seven way pin, I just connect up that Anderson connector to send that power on back. And do you connect that to the alternator or to the battery? I connect it to the battery. Now the battery in the truck. Battery of the truck. Now that's still coming through the alternator, right? It is, but that battery acts as a filter heading it back there. And it's a heck of a lot easier to connect it there. So Absolutely. connect it on the battery to an uh, Ander uh, Anderson connector and then Anderson connector to your uh, DC to DC charger. Yep, that's the way my setup is. Boom, there's your 30 amps, if you have a Ford. <laughs> and there's your tech tip. All right, before you get to the bloopers, which is why you're here in the first place, the RV industry needs thousands of RV technicians and inspectors, and now is the perfect time to do that. If you want to make more money or have more control over your time, go ahead and click the link below. Or if you just wanna learn how to fix your own RV, got something for you there. Head over to rvtechcourse.com and get started today. Now for the reason that you're at the end of the video, roll the bloopers. <laughs> All right. That's pretty good. See, now you got the flow. Yeah. I'm sorry. You had a great intro and I messed it up. Well, that doesn't matter. He can cut it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have... Let me think about that. <laughs> what do I have? Oh, I have four gauge wire. Okay. okay. Perfect. Yeah. What gauge wire would you recommend? You know why? Freaking Dodge. <laughs> it is. They put really small wire on that truck. Size of wire. So, let's is go ahead and go to Jerry. DC did I, DC. what did I say? Y'all are listening wrong, people. <laughs> <laughs>